there and welcome to my channel. My name is Sam and I make videos about lifestyle, cleaning, cooking, and beer. So if you're into that kind of thing, please stick around. Please give me a like and subscribe or some comments below uh, throughout the video if you have any thoughts. And thank you for coming onto my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a grocery haul. This week I went to a couple places. I went to Acme earlier in the week and today I went to Costco and Target. So that's some of the things that we got today, some basics and essentials. Uh, well, I hope you like this video. Please follow along and like and subscribe if you like it. Thanks. All right. Today I'm going to show you some of the things I just got at Target. Uh, we had some things that we still needed to get. Uh, we moved into our house a few weeks ago, and we just have not restocked on things that we had before. So here are some of the things that I usually get. It's almond milk creamer. We go through this pretty quick. Uh, this is actually the one I have to throw out. Um, not much left. So we always get this. It's just a little better. Uh, rice cauliflower. Uh, I have not tried to make this myself yet. Actual cauliflower, but it seems like it would be cheaper. But who has the time? So I buy it frozen. Got three gala apples. I bought of these perfect bars. And these things are so good. I got two. I got the chocolate walnut brownie. The coconut peanut butter one that we ate on the way home. So these are really good. Talenti gelato, Mediterranean mint. I've never had this, um, but I love mint ice cream. So I was kind of craving it when I saw it. So I just grabbed it for us. This classic ranch yogurt dressing from Bolt House Farms. A dozen eggs, cage free large brown fresh eggs. Jimmy Dean turkey sausage links. Um, these are just really quick to put in the morning. Um, you just throw them in the microwave for like 45 seconds and then you kind of can just take them and go. I got Pure Deli Premium Baking Chips. Uh, these are bittersweet chocolate. I need these for the pumpkin cookies that I'm going to make. I take them from the back of Bristow um, recipe. I needed some sponges. I've been meaning to pick this up for a while. The Mrs. Myers Concentrate and the Basil Scent. Uh, the Basil Scent is my favorite um, regular scent they have. My favorite scent ever is probably the Peony and Lilac that comes out in spring. But this is always available, and I forget how much you use, but this apparently lasts forever, and you can just keep refilling your Mrs. Myers bottles that you already have. And the last two things I got at Target are these Swiffer dusters. I plan to use these to kind of clear out the corners and stuff like that, and just like dust regularly. I these baby pumpkins, I got three of them. They were like two sixty nine dollars each, and I haven't had time to stop and get my pumpkins for them. So we only bought a few things at Costco today. We usually go there once every probably three or so months to buy things to hold us over. First thing we got is dog food for Finn. Bag is 20 pounds and was only I think $16.79. So compared to $50 for a 30 pound bag of Taste of the Wild, that would be great if he likes this and it's good for him. Also got a 12 pack of paper pails. These protein shakes, I never had these before. I usually use Premier Protein shakes, these little ones for on the go, but they are expensive as heck. So I saw these for like $5 cheaper. Eight pack of these big cans of tuna. What are they? Seven ounce cans. So they're bigger than the regular cans you get. And um, Will goes through tuna like crazy. The last few things I got at Costco are these. Uh, first I got these Smarty Pants Multivitamins, pack of salmon fillets. It's just easy and they are really, really good. Um, the ingredients are pretty good. You know, nothing really gross in here. Got uh, chicken breast fillets. This is part of like a six pack, I think. So it was $20 for 7.24 pounds of chicken. And also like when you pull them out of the bag, generally don't need to trim any fat. When I get chicken breasts from other supermarkets, I always have to trim off so much fat and I get so annoyed when I have to throw it out uh, because I paid for it and I'm not gonna use it. So that is another good thing about getting it in bulk at Costco is generally like these have no fat on them and don't need to be trimmed. Giant thing of turkey bacon. Another thing Will goes through like crazy is turkey bacon. I wanna find out if there's a way to freeze it. So if any of you guys know a way to freeze it, just put it in the comments below and let me know. I'm gonna look online and hope that there's a way to freeze this to make it <laughs> make it hold. Um, Cause it's four individual packs of turkey bacon. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. But we love turkey bacon, so hopefully it'll go. Um, if not, we just know not to get it next time. Giant thing of olive oil. We go through this like crazy. I, I 
use olive oil for everything. I cook with it. Um, I mix it out with it. I drizzle it on top of things just to get some more fat. So, and they do have the Kirkland brand olive oil, and it's like almost like two of these attached by a plastic thing. Um, and it's actually cheaper per like quart. But I hear that that olive oil is really good too. And it's a little bit cheaper, you just get more of it. So it's a big commitment. These dry roasted almonds, seasoned with sea salt, California grown, two and a half pounds of almonds. Finally, I got a double pack of peanut butter, again, for Will, because he tears through peanut butter like crazy. The only ingredients are dry roasted organic peanuts and sea salt, uh, so it's really good. I hate, I hate finding them, and then there's like palm oil and things like that. Um, you know, I just, I still want that, so try to get the most uh, natural one I can. And it's organic, which is good, I didn't know that. Um, USDA organic. Good to know. The last thing I got at Costco that we really needed was coffee. We get this big thing of Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Uh, we'll mix it every morning. And I'll just show you a few things I got from Acme earlier in the week. It was a lot of produce and I've gone through some of it. I think we have, I got baby carrots that I went through and asparagus. I went through both of them already. And I got chicken breast that I went through. That was probably about it. This big thing of minced garlic. Um, I do buy raw garlic a lot and just like mince that myself and you know use it but this is really good to have and I go through garlic a lot because I love garlic so I add probably double the garlic of any recipe like what it calls for so this is good to have this organic bone broth and it's become kind of a thing so just in, just going into the fall and winter Will and I get sick a lot so I wanted to have this on hand uh, just in case you know it's worth the hype but heirloom tomatoes and I know I'm real extra but I got this and mozzarella to go with it hazel and balsamic leaves to go with it and it was delicious and I just love tomatoes and since we're leaving summertime now I'm not gonna have really really good tomatoes for a while so I just wanted to have a last hurrah with these guys and I've never had an orange one but it looked really good and this red one has already been really delicious I already ate half of it. Box of sleepy time tea I have this probably three or four times a week before bedtime just because I like something warm to settle down. Pumpernickel bread I haven't really been eating bread for months. I kind of got to the point where if I'm going to have bread it's going to be Really, really good bread. I love pumpernickel and rye bread and really, really whole grain wheat bread. But um, so I just decided to treat myself with the pumpernickel bread. I made a cauliflower soup with some of these ingredients and I butter this up with caramel butter and have it with that. And it's just it's a nice little addition to it. Green pepper because I'm going to make chili. Uh, maybe tomorrow, probably tomorrow, I'm going to make it with this and the ground turkey that I got. Two cans of pumpkin. Uh, this is 100% pure pumpkin or better be ingredients pumpkin yes uh, I just scoop this out and I put it in my smoothies in the morning um, my smoothies kind of consist of yogurt collagen powder almond milk banana and some other fruit and I've been using pumpkin instead of you know berries or something and a little bit of pumpkin spice to be real fall festive and it's been really really good it's really filling uh, pumpkin's really good for you and I really like pumpkin, sweet potato, squash, that whole, that whole family. So this has been really good uh, to have. So I'll add diced tomatoes. They're organic also, that's good, um, for that uh, chili that I'm going to make. Roasted and salted almonds. Uh, I know I'm going to Costco, but um, I got these a few days ago and I was already eating half of them. So clearly we need them because he tears through them like crazy. Um, you know, they're higher sodium than I would like. 110 milligrams per three tablespoons. I'm not crazy about that, but that's usually why I get the unsalted or lightly salted. Um, but this will do for now. So the carrots I already cracked into. These are really good. I just roast them up um, like 20. I toss them in olive oil and spices, and then about 20 minutes at 400 degrees. Things I got for that cauliflower soup I made: organic thyme leaves and organic ground nutmeg, the zucchini. These things are flipping huge. Uh, the last thing I got were some yogurts. I think I got like five, like two of these uh, open nature acne kind of store brand ones and like three of the Chobani. Um, and I then I have a big thing of the Greek, the vanilla Greek yogurt for my smoothies. And um, these are really good. These are fruit on the bottom, which annoys me. I hate mixing it, but you know, first world problems. 
and then there's the Giovanni Vanilla, which Will really likes, and he'll take them to work. Um, easy to take on the train, so we can have it for lunch. Um, but, you know, these are really good, quick ways to get in some protein that'll hold you over. Last thing we got, because we are a beer drinking house, is two kinds of beer. I got the Shit Bottom Brewery, the Shack IPA. It's 6%. It's actually 6%. I had this, and I was expecting it to be, like, really, you know, knocked you on your butt. But this was really good. Um, you know, a really good go-to IPA, especially when I saw it was 6%. Like, this is like a tailgating beer to me. Like, something that's, you know, really good and worth it, um, even though this is a pounder. So, maybe wouldn't go for pounders to tailgate, but it is really good. I highly recommend it. Um, perfect toppiness. It was really balanced, and I just think it was really drinkable. And the can's are really cute. It has a nice little shack with an American flag on it. And then I got the New Belgium, the Hemperer. I had this months ago down the shore. This smells like straight up marijuana but it's actually really really good um it's actually pretty light it's seven percent alcohol so it sneaks up on you a little bit if you have too many of these but this is very good this is what the bottle looks like and um you know this was this isn't as drinkable as the shit bottom was but it's called the hpa hops and hemp rain together at last oh my god this is so cute but New Belgium's always like usually a hit for me. Um, even their seasonal ones end up being pretty good. Um, the only thing I haven't had is like their kind of sour leaning ones because I'm not really a big sour person. Um, but everything else has been really good from them. And this, uh, you know, I'd recommend if you like really hoppy beers and dank beers because this is it. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Comment below if there's anything that I got that you usually get. If you use it differently or any suggestions you have. I'm always looking for new recipes and things to try. Uh, but until next time, cheers and have a good week. Bye. -bye.